We'll see on electrostatic potential. Three small identical balls having charges of this one minus three into ten power minus twelve, eight into ten power minus twelve, and four into ten power minus twelve. Coulomb. They are brought in contact and then separated. I need to identify the charge on each apple and the number of electrons in excess or deficit of each apple after contact. We got the charge Q1 is equal to this one, Q2 is equal to this one and Q3 is equal to this one. The total charge in the system Q is equal to Q1, Q2 and Q3 divided by 3. Because the total number is 1, 2 and 3 charges. So taking out your 10 power minus 12 out. You got your 10 power minus 12 here and minus 8 plus 8 and plus 4. You got the values 0 by 3. So 9 divided by 3, the answer is 3 into 10 power minus 12 coulomb. So charge is 3 into 10 power minus 12 coulomb. Now we need to identify the number of electrons in excess or deficit on each apple after contact. As you know, Q is equal to 3 into 10 power minus 12 coulomb and E is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus, 10 minus 19 coulomb. So the charge of the electron by standard is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb which we are going to substitute in the equation n is equal to Q divided by E. So Q is 3 into 10 power minus 12 and 1.6 divided by this one. So solving this one you will be getting 1.875 into 10 power 7. That is the number of electrons in excess or deficit on each ball after the contact. A sample of HCl gas is placed in an electrical field. This is the example 2. So this is the field of 2.85 into 10 power 4 Newton per coulomb. The dipole moment of each HCl molecule is 3.4 into 10 power minus 13 coulomb meter. Find the maximum torque that can act on a molecule. This is the question. So we got the given data as E is equal to this one and P is equal to this one. So the solution is so the magnitude of the torque is given by tau is equal to P E sin theta. So the maximum torque will happen at a value of theta is equal to 90 degree. So sin 90 degree is equal to 1. So substituting your P here and E here sin 90 degree. So 3.4 into 2.5 is 8.5 and 10 power minus 30 to 10 power 5 we got 10 power minus 26. So the tau the maximum torque is given by tau equal to 8.5 into 10 power minus 26. We will move on to the other example. Calculating the potential at a point due to a charge of 4 into 10 power minus 7 coulomb located at a distance of 0 0.09 away. So I need to identify the potential. So here is the maximum torque and the electric field is 2.5 into 10 power 4 Newton per coulomb. So work done in bringing a charge 2 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb from infinity to the point. This is example 3. So I got a charge Q1 is equal to 4 into 10 power minus 7. Q2 is equal to 2 into 2 into 10 power minus 9. And R is equal to 0 0.09 meter. So we got three values. Substituted. So for one charge you will be getting the formula as the potential difference V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 divided by R. Putting a value Q1 here and R here. 
and 1 by 4 pi s long naught is nothing but the value is 9 into 10 power 9. Substituting these values, you will be getting 9 into 4 that's 36. 10 power 9 into 10 power minus 7 is 10 power 2 and divided by 0 0.09. So solving is you will be getting 400 into 10 power 2 voltage. R 4 into 10 power 4 voltage. So now we are going to solve the second problem. Work done bringing a charge of 2 into 2 10 power minus 9 coulomb from infinity to that point. Let's see. The potential at a point is resolved and I got the voltage we found it as 4 into 10 power 4. So obviously the solution is work done in bringing a charge Q2 from infinity to the point is given by W is equal to Q2 into V. So solving this one you will be getting 2 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb into 4 into 10 power 4 and solving this one you will be getting the work done as 8 into 10 power minus 5 joule. That's the work done in bringing a charge Q2 from infinity to the point.